I'm a uh, supervisor for the commissioners for uh, Aboriginal Affairs Canada. I have fun doing it. <laughs> that's that's the nice part about this. I, I have fun doing it. Close to 16 plus years. Because the people are, uh, people here are exciting to work for and to work with. Um, even on my grumpiest days, they've caused an inward smile. <laughs> and uh, that, uh, that has made it. And also, um, they allow me and uh, my co-workers the opportunity to expand, uh, to offer. They seek our advice. And uh, we offered, and we worked together as a team. A lot of us, well, at least for me now, were the last of the uh, old generation. I'll put it in perspective. When I graduated high school back in back then, I was the last class that had short hair. <laughs> Most senior citizens wouldn't have some the luxury of this position. I was uh, chief of plans for the restructure of the uh, Canadian Army um, for uh, based upon the white paper of 86. And we put that all together and presented it. And for my sins, I got to command the divisional headquarters. Remember, I was appointed aide-de-camp to our Colonel-in-Chief, Her Royal Highness the Princess Alexandra of Kent. And uh, we're... I was with her and we're walking, and she's inspecting the, the soldiers on the parade square. And a little voice pipes up, that's my daddy! <laughs> and, um, <clears throat> excuse me, he's riding back. He said, was that your son? I said, yep. He says, nice, wasn't it? <laughs> I see it as a fixture, and yes, they treat me as a rock star. What really drove it home was last Friday, one of our clients um, who was riding the elevator down from a meeting in the building, he overheard some of the staff saying that I was leaving, and he said, they're they're just mind boggled that I'm leaving because I've always I've I've always been here, and uh, they they said they don't know who's going to replace them and they're kind of worried. So yeah. Well, congratulations, Ray, on your retirement. Uh, you're one of the original dream team, Bob, Doug, and you, and. Uh, started around the same time I took over security and I appreciate all your hard work over the year and uh, years and more than that I appreciate your friendship you're going to be missed but I wish you all the best in the future and don't be afraid to stop by and say hey and part of the facility security team here is also wants to wish you well we're going to miss you Ray I'm going to miss your stories it was wonderful working with you congratulations all the best in the future Ray, I just want to say thanks for everything. You're a great guy, always joking around with me, uh, treating me really well. All the best to you in your retirement and your future endeavors, and uh, take care, buddy. Congratulations, Ray. Uh, Well-deserved retirement. Thank you, for, uh, thank you for the hard work. Thank you for your support. Thank you for the friendship. Uh, I'm going to miss you, buddy. Maybe not the 8 p.m. phone calls that the land closet's <laughs> overheated or the kitchen's flooding, but I'll, I'll miss you. Best of luck in your retirement. I remember all the funny times. You remember the sad times too, but you just don't talk about them.